morning, Katie. Good to see you again. Good morning. Good morning. The new album, Absolute Torch and Twang, sounds wonderful. Thank you. And Torch and Twang is something you've come up with. Why don't you explain to the people what Torch and Twang is? Okay, well, I got, I got a little uneasy with being called cowpunk and a new traditionalist, because I don't think I'm a new traditionalist, but um, I, I felt because my music incorporated the torch singing of jazz and also the twang of, of country, that Torch and Twang might be a good conglomerate to describe my music. You're from Canada. How does the view of country music differ in Canada from America? It's slightly different. Um, I think Canada has been obviously and, and very much influenced by um, American country music, but it also has its own flavor um, because of the French Canadians, because of the, the heavy Slavic population in Canada. And so it differs in a little bit that way. And you also didn't start out thinking that you might end up singing country. You grew up on show tunes, classical right. music. How did you make the jump from that to, to country music? Um, I think it was when uh, I finished college and I started, you know, my mind started opening up to different musical avenues. And I saw how it paralleled my upbringing and that I had some sort of emotional empathy towards country because I grew up in rural Alberta and it... it you know, I guess instilled a lot of country perspectives and ideals in, in me. And I saw how that related to country music. I want to tell you that you're from Canada, but in New York uh, earlier this year, you tore the house up at Radio City Music Hall singing Crying, Roy Orbison's tune. Let's take a look at that right. right now. Now you're gone and wrong. Stand up, they did. They gave you a standing ovation. That's for the Songwriters Hall of Fame award show that you sang at. When you came out, did you know that you're going to hit the song the way you hit it? Um, <clears throat> to sound less than self-righteous, yes, I did. I I had been preparing psychically for that for four months. I, I had one thing in mind, and what happened there was what I had in mind. I mean, it's 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 difficult. I mean, you have to visualize what you want to have happen and. And I wasn't sure that it was going to, but I was inside. And you've done that song. You and Roy Orbison have, I don't want to say a past, but you worked it. You had worked together before. Yeah, we actually we recorded "Crying" as a duet, which was a difficult thing to do because it's such a solilo soliloquy of a song almost. And um, it was a big hit in Canada. It didn't do too well in the states, but it was for a movie soundtrack called "Hiding Out," which is available on Virgin Records. But um, I do "Crying" in my show every night and so I, I had a handle on how to sing it. Boy, when I see the power of your voice, I see Broadway. I see, would you consider ever doing a Broadway show? Well, sure, yeah. I, I'm, I'm interested in acting and, and musical theater and everything. I'm interested in showing my paintings at a gallery. I think every, every uh, medium of art is, is intriguing to me. Absolute Torch and Twang is the album. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. Katie yeah. Lang, thanks for being with thanks. us this morning. My pleasure. Harry? Harry. <laughs> it's been